How's it going, everybody, family, friends, everyone out there that's going to listen to this story? Anyways, so we are on day one, June 2nd. We are um, just, uh, we got on the trail late. Our ferry was held over till for three hours. We got into a campsite late at night. Uh, got a ride to the trail. Didn't get on trail till 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, the place that we wanted to stay at really wasn't acceptable for camping, um, so we kept trolling on. Ended up just about 13 miles today, and we are set up shop. Me and Mom, we got to say hi, Mom. Hi. We are uh, set up. Got the house all ready to go. The bed's made. It's, uh, well, let's see, 810 right now. Just chilling in the vestibule, had a little bit to eat, and the interesting thing is, is where we're camping, and that would be in these nice people's yard, just by 131, who I happened to see working in the yard, and said, hey, uh, could we possibly camp in your yard, and they said that would be fine, so... We are alive. Day one, 13 miles. Tomorrow's going to be a shorty to the campground because we did a little extra today. But we could use a little recovery day and an actual campground. And then we are going to uh, do a 12 or, 12, 12 or 13 the next day. So, all right. So, we're going to get out of here. Uh, take care. See everybody later. And if you have anything to say or ask or anything like that, just shoot us a message. Talk to you later. Bye. It's raining. Lucky us. And tortured it's by flies. Wind. Tortured by flies in our tent. Well, not in the tent, but in the vestibule. Right. Rain fly. And he's got to climb out. He's got a turtle. Ugh. Crazy limboing. We made it. Yay! He made All right, it. Let's... Okay, we are just shy of Boyne Falls, outside of Boyne Falls, a couple of miles. And we've been hiking like 16 miles today. And then we just come across this super nice guy named Jeff. He was out working on his deck. Talked to him for a moment. And uh, he said that if he didn't want us to camp by the road, so he said, come in the backyard. So this is going to be our campsite for night. What an incredible place. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so this is going to be covering day three and day four because we weren't able to get anything loaded up. And also, some of day three has been lost and we're going to have to regroup because that phone is somewhere in the woods. I think somewhere about six miles back from where we're standing now. Maybe more, but sayonara, we're not going to get that phone back, and I ain't going to look for it. So this is on Kim's phone, and we were hiking. We did 14 and a half miles today. Uh was pretty tired. Coming up on a nice section uh, where there's all private property. Once again, seen a homeowner working on his deck, which you can see deck materials behind us. Gave him a shout out and said, hey, we are hiking through. Uh, would you have a piece of property that we could we could maybe uh, put our tent. And he said, yeah, heck yeah. Why don't you put it right down there by the creek in our backyard? And you can see it back there. Amazing. We are on a perfect, beautiful little stream. I mean, it's I can't even tell you how nice it is. So, not only that, did he say, go ahead and, you know, put on put on my property. Get over here, Ma, so I can see you. There you go. No, stay there. Okay. Gotcha. Got me. Gotcha now. <laughs> not only... Did he say, come on and put your tent in the back here by the creek? But he says, hey, here. And I mean, you can't only see remnants, but there's some cherries. I think I got a picture we can add with we, this. Yeah, there was some watermelon he brought us out, some cans of Coke. He said, there's a bathroom inside. You want to plug in and charge. You want to use the shower. He put towels out for us to use the shower. This is amazing. Nicest people ever. And uh, his name's Jeff. And, and just... It, that just is nice. So, anyways, uh, we did 
12 miles yesterday. We did 14, eh, 14 plus two, I think, today. So, so far we're, this is day four, we're 40. We took a short day, uh, day two, because um, my, we were a little tired. We got started late, our feet were a little sore. Um, so right now we're at 40, what was it? 44.7. 44.7 miles on day four. We look to be on track to um, make Petoskey on time to what we wanted, maybe even a little early. So shout out to everybody. We're still alive. We're still here, and we will talk to you later. Bye. Okay, so another short little video. Something that I forgot to say is there's some – Kim's going to put some photos on. We're posting on Kim's Facebook, so it's not mine. Um, but anyways, some of the, cause my phone's in the woods, but some of the, uh, <laughs> pictures she's going to post is us eating a pizza with a can of Coke. It says superstar on it. So what happened was when we made camp on the third night, we were just off in highway two, 32 going into Boyne Falls, not far from 131. Yeah, so 32 know. and 131. So we had like one bar on the phone. We did a little Google search on the map and it showed a Larry's Mobile gas station. So I called Larry's Mobile and said, hey, do you know someone that can, we could order a pizza? And he says, well, I know where you're at. I'll, what do you want? I'll bring you one. I said, well, I'll take a Supreme. And it was just a box pizza. But it was a Supreme box pizza and a can of Coke, and he brought it to us trailside. So that was pretty sweet. We've been pretty fortunate. God's blessed us with what's going on. So anyways, uh, that just wanted to add that for the pizza photos. Now you know. Okay, so it's day five. We're about seven miles in on our hike, and we come across this. If you can't see, it's an old logging road, oh. and our apparel is amazing because the mosquitoes are horrendous. But the beavers did some work, and this quarter mile of swamp, uh, that's our trail. So we're not going that way. We came out around and cut through there, down by the swamp. So, needless to say, uh, we had quite an adventure getting through there, about 25 minutes of throwing logs and breaking branches to make bridges. Anyways, on the trail, talk to you later, bye. All right, it's video time. So, day four, we couldn't put out anything. We were once again in a dead zone in the middle of nowhere. So we stayed with Jeff, who was awesome. He let us use his property. And then in the morning, we get up, and he insists to take us to breakfast. So I was like, well, we really don't want to impose. He's like, no, you got to go. Come on, I don't want to go to eat breakfast by myself. So we go to breakfast, and I try to pay, and he won't let me. So he pays. I mean, just the nicest guy you ever met. Then he gave us a ride to the back of the trail where we took off. So we did about, we did a little more than we thought we were going to do yesterday. Um, we were going to go a fairly short day, but then when we got to where we were, once again, we were thinking about camping. It wasn't very good. It wasn't very suitable. And there was real, we've had really bad flies. Not, not like, I mean, you could probably see they're flying around here too. Not like little ones, but big just house flies and thousands of them anytime you stop around a sandy area but anyways um so we made it to we kept pushing on we made it to a nice nice campsite by a farmer's field uh, we set up for the night just off-road camp and then we got this morning this would be day five day five or day six day six we're on day six day six we're on day six we're on day six, so, so okay, so day five, we, we hiked, and anyways, who knows. The fifth day, we stayed in the woods. Today, we have hiked, it's uh, approximately 1, 1.30, 1 o'clock in the afternoon on Thursday. We pushed on quite a ways, and 
brutal. I mean, absolute brutal hills. The worst ones I've ever been up and down in a long time. We're in the Boyne Mountain area, and you can tell because, by golly, we've climbed just about every mountain here, I think. Uh, we are about 10 miles in right now, eight, nine, 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 ten 9, miles in right now, and we are 6 miles from Petoskey. So, I don't know if you can tell, but the shelter behind me, I'm going to kind of spin you around and let you look at what's up here. But, I'm in a nice Adirondack chair. This is an area, some, some a home, a, a landowner built this. And it's up the hill from the trail a little bit. But it's just this killer little cabin. And it's got a couple chairs, got a little bonfire pit over there. And then you come inside, and there's mom, there's mom inside, and then there's all our junk trying to stay away from the, trying to stay away from the flies, but then there's some bunk beds up in here, and a little catwalk for the kids to go up top, so yeah, very, very cool shelter, nice screened in windows to keep the buggies out while you're sleeping, we thought about staying the night here, but... Then we figured, you know what, six more miles, let's do six more miles, get into town. It'll be a big day, but it's still early. We can make it into town by 5 o'clock, and then uh, we will uh, we'll get to sit in a hot tub. That's where I'm headed. All right, Mom, wave bye. Bye. Bye, see you later, guys.